Hi, this is Sasha Chua. People are curious about how to read other people's configuration files in Guest Workflow. So I figured I'd experiment with recording me reading someone's config and uh, stealing interesting bits from my own. Okay, so uh, so I'm, I'm going to start with uh, It's Jade because uh, It's Jade just reached out to me and I was curious about um, what this config was like. Uh, so here we are. Okay, uh, all right, custom set variables and faces to blank. Uh, you've got, um, let's, let's take a look here for interesting things to borrow. Hmm. This auto recompile elist file might be interesting for people who edit their, their Emacs file a lot because uh, by compiling it makes it a little bit faster. I use org, so I, I basically just, um, so I use org for literate configuration, so Emacs just uh, extracts the Emacs list bits um, every time it starts up. I don't mind having a slightly slower uh, um, slightly slower start time. Uh, this, this Wii note might be interesting to look into. Okay, mm uh, the open with associations. Dear uh, Limit file, um, probably I should set that up actually. So this one says get rid of anything that starts with a period and then um, and just keep on going uh, well it's actually get rid of anything that starts with a period and has at least three characters so it hides all the hidden files um, that's kind of helpful um, dirt hidden string I actually have that already as well I think mm. So, so this is actually something I I just stolen from my config um, right before I started recording for this video. Uh, so it's Jade uses sup the super key I'm guessing, but since I don't actually have that map on my keyboard, which doesn't have any spare keys handy, I actually do use my Windows key. Um, I I checked to see whether Shift space is available as a key binding, and it turns out it is. So now I've bound uh, Shift space to Ace Jump mode instead of. Uh, super space and uh, let's see if that will get me to use ace jump mode more browse kill ring I also use that uh, this um, da -da -da. this def advice here for kill region where uh, where it says if you call it without a region kill the line instead I do that all the time I mean I, I end up going control a control K control K because you have to do the second control K to get the line and so the so this is one of the pieces of advice that I, I definitely uh, still right away from my config uh, and it's yeah so so now I can just in the middle of the line press control W and it kills the line which is great so that's good um, so this one says basically Zeptocar deletes the character by default I'm guessing and so this one puts it back in which is handy uh, let's see what else here that I uh, what else here I want to borrow hmm do, 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 do. Go to cart, smart parents, global rainbow delimiters mode. What is global rainbow delimiters mode and do I have that? Global rain, okay, uh, it's not defined by default. Maybe it's a package. So list packages, that sounds really interesting. Rainbow? Rainbow delimiters. All right, let's install that and give that a try. Okay, so global rainbow delimiters mode, and then if I'm here, and I'm actually if I'm in my org uh, config, my, if uh, I'm in my configuration, let me uh, go into a. <gasps> Look at that. So uh, so r global rainbow delimiters mode. And of course, you have to install the Rainbow Delimiters package first. Does that little highlighting of um, it, it colors them so you can easily see at a glance which ones pair up. And it doesn't seem to be slowing down my org config, uh, so my org file as a whole. Though we'll have to see whether, yep, it's still working. Uh, so let's stick that in somewhere, maybe under coding. Rainbow Delimiters, Rainbow Delimiters. That's kind of handy. Okay, so I want this to be a def advice. Sorry, no, actually, this is just a use package. Use dash package, of course. Um, rainbow delimiters. 
and here I need to do the init of a global rainbow delimiter mode. Okay, perfect. So I just stolen that little bit. What else is in here? Uh, I already have LDOC mode on, I think. Smart scan was something I also just borrowed from this. Smart scan uh, lets you kind of interactively search forward or backward for a symbol based on the thing at point, but you don't have to do any of the cutting and pasting or whatever uh, to get the symbol in there. And you don't have to press enter to stop. So that's kind of handy. And I've, I've, I've left it with the default um, key bindings of meta N and meta P. But here, the config redefines that, just in case you feel like using your super key instead. This uh, set mark command repeat pop was also something that was really new to me. What set mark command repeat pop does is uh, if you if you have um, a, so a region, right? So you press control space to mark the beginning of the region, and you have there, you can actually go to the other, you know, go to something that you've previously marked by typing control U, control space. And so this goes back to the previous one. But if you're if you have that command set, you can just keep on pressing Control Space, and it will, you know, pop you back through all the different places you've been. So here, for example, uh, we're doing Control Space, and so this this jumps around to the different places that I've been in. Okay, so that so set mark command repeat pop, um, and I found out about that by doing Control H V, uh, set mark command repeat pop, uh, is really helpful. So I'm looking forward to using that too. Let's see what else here am I going to steal. I already used guide key. That looks pretty handy. Uh, it, it tells you what else can be completed. So if you're the kind of person like me who can't remember all these keyboard shortcuts, guide key displays that lovely menu for you and lets you choose something. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, I don't use I do. I use Helm. So, but this, uh, the, this these snippets might be useful for you if you do. Um... Don't really do Java development as much. JavaScript development, yeah, I do a fair bit of that. So indentation levels, um, yeah, this is a handy time saver. It's one of the things I, I often share with newbies, you know, because who are who get tired of typing yes all the time. Save history mode. Yep, got that. Oh hey, um, history length. I probably should set my history length to T too. Uh, save hist. Where's that? Here we go. Um, set to history length t and what that does is it uh, doesn't truncate the history so let's do that and the delete duplicates actually looks like it'll be a good idea too okay let's do that as well uniqify column number mode hmm org so it's Jade uses uh, PlantUML to draw pretty great diagrams, I'm guessing. I'm, I don't have to do a lot of uh, uh, UML diagrams, thankfully, but it's something on my to-do list if I, if I end up doing that. Um, there are all sorts of different ways to draw diagrams these days, which is so cool. Okay, uh, let's see. What is tr org track ordered property with tag? Org track ordered property with tag. Huh. Okay, okay. So this one uses org dependencies. Org force. Do I want to use that? That kind of makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Okay. So I'm gonna stick that in my org setup. At the bottom here. Task dependencies. T and let's copy that. It's probably a good idea as well. So what this should do is that if it's if it has an ordered property, then it shouldn't let me mark the previous like uh, um, jump ahead. Uh, which also might mean that I can use this to hide or dim the block tasks from my agenda view. I've I've vaguely come I remember coming across that kind of feature before, so we'll see. 
Um, okay, uh, package, do 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 do, tram, auto complete. Uh, probably a good person to talk to about seeing, you know, getting a getting a sense of a uh, Java IDE with completion and all sorts of other things. Uh, so, might be good to read out, reach out to each, it's Jade about that. Let's see what else is in here. Sub, oh, that's that's going backwards, um, through words. Uh, probably like camel case words. So the sub word mode over here probably lets you just go back over the, the camel case words. Pony mode. No idea what that is. I don't do a lot of Python though, so I'm gonna skip that. <coughs> Laziness, Scala, Google, start page. Git gutter. Git gutter look pretty interesting. So Git gutter. This is the one. So this is one of the uh, um, well Git repositories I found for that, and it adds these little indicator characters in the left margin. It's kind of cool. Um, I might get into that sometime. Maybe not at the moment. Ace window. Oh yeah! Uh, if I'm gonna get a hang of ace jump, it might be a good idea to get the hang of ace window as well. Does meta x actually do anything? Oh, meta x does actually exist already. What does it do? Oh, it's for I search forward stuff. But that kind of makes sense. Uh, okay, so... Uh, First, let's see if that's a package that I need to install. Ace window. Alright, install that. And... Oh, ace jump mode. Ace window, that's useful too. So this is a uh, use package case window, and uh, yeah, that that key binding kind of makes sense to me. So uh, let's do that in the bind. What's this? Uh, meta s a w goes to ace window. Okay, so let's try that. Meta s a w. That just goes to the same one. Okay, here we go. All right. All right. So what meta uh, so what the uh, ace window does is it adds these little numbers to the windows, and then you can just type the number to go to the specific one, which is good because uh, normally I just do Control X O a lot of times, and that's not particularly efficient. Okay, toggle window dedicated. Hmm, kind of nifty. I don't, I don't use dedicated windows nearly as much as I probably could. Um, <laughs> this is kind of cool. It, it split. It changes this to this and otherwise. Uh, so that's that's pretty nifty. Hmm. And kill other buffer and window. Huh. Slap windows. There's a there's a, like a there's a. Someone was demonstrating another package related to buffers that did this kind of moving buffers around. Anyway, uh, balancing windows, change split, kill and Okay, so I've uh, read it and I've stolen a couple of interesting things from my own config, so let's see if that sticks. And that's the basic idea of how you can read uh, somebody else's config and pick up interesting ideas. You know, you take a look at whatever packages they're using, and you can usually guess the packages based on what they're requiring or what the function names are. Uh, if there are variables, you can always look them up with describe variable. Likewise with functions, you can use describe function to find that. And it's really looking out for huh, interesting key bindings or useful conveniences or bits of advice to uh, to help make your Emacs use a little bit better. So um, to the next time, I guess, for uh, when I look at somebody else's config and steal interesting bits from my own or possibly uh, share some tips from yours. Anyway, tell me what you think about this experiment and um, thanks for listening.